I'm Danielle from Pearl World, and today I'm going to show you how to print onto a ceramic tile using your standard heat press. The ceramic tiles that we offer on our website are a little less than a quarter inch thick, and they have a really nice glossy finish to them to really enhance any image that you're going to be printing on them. The items that you'll need to get started are your sublimation printer, your sublimation transfer paper, your heat transfer tape, your non-stick sheet, gloves, a soft fusion pillow, your standard heat press, and your ceramic tile. The tile that I chose to print today is a six by six, so my printed image is about a six and a half by six and a half, just to give myself a little extra space, so that way I have plenty of room when I line it up. Okay, take your ceramic tile glossy side face down onto the printed image and just fold the bottom and tack it with a piece of tape and fold the top and again another piece of tape and it's ready for your heat press. So the first thing you're going to do is put your soft fusion pillow down first. If you're not familiar with these, we do sell these on our website. They come in a pack of a couple different sizes. Basically what it is is a cushion surrounded by a non-stick sheet. This will really aid in cushioning your ceramic tile and give you a nice clean crisp image. So slide that on first. Our heat press is set at 400 degrees for about six minutes. The larger the tile, the more time you'll need. So just add an extra minute the bigger the tile that you use. Okay. So we're going to place our tile right into our heat press. And we're going to do the back side of the tile facing the top platen so your image is facing the cushion. Cover with a non-stick sheet. And we're going to close and lock our heat press. The pressure is really important for your heat press. Make sure that you're accommodating for the cushion as well as your ceramic tile. So your pressure should be a light to medium. Lighter side is better so you don't crack the tile. All right, close and lock your heat press. Now, sometimes we do make modifications to our application settings, so always make sure to check the Pro World website so you have the right time, temperature, and pressure for the product you're using. Okay, your heat press is all done, so open it up. Slip your gloves on, because it will be pretty hot. Remove your non-stick sheet and your tape and paper. And there you go, a gorgeous tile. Now we only printed one image on this tile, but you could do a series of tiles together and create your one image to span across all of them, creating a really nice artistic mosaic. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out all of our other videos and products on the Pro World website. Good luck and happy printing.